Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Never Too Late, it's Kim here. I am here today with something new. I have not done this before, I'm kind of excited. Um, I am here with a Thread Up um, Rescue Box. So I went on their website. If you're not familiar with Thread Up, they are kind of like a online thrift store. You can send clothes into them. I think they will pay you in some way for whatever they decide they can sell. And then um, they will, sometimes I guess they get stuff they can't use or they have too much of something and they will make rescue boxes and they make all different types. Um, they will make luxury ones, designer ones, you know, and I've seen unboxing of some of these and some of this stuff is amazing. Um, and then they also make some DIY ones and I bought one of the DIY ones. Um, and I think in the DIY ones, I think in a lot of the rescue boxes, you may get things, you may get things that are new with tags in, in these standard boxes, but you can also get something that might have a little bit of wear. Um, and I think in the DIY boxes, these are probably shirts that might have stains or holes or, or some kind of an issue. But I know I've talked to you on the channel before, if you've watched, not, I'm going to give you a quick overview. What I really want to get into in the next year, in the new year is, or one of the things I really want to start upcycling. And one of the things I really want to do is take t-shirts that maybe aren't perfect, but have something about them that are very cool and add something to them, maybe rip them, you know, cut them into pieces and put them back together in different ways. I want to find a way to make cool t-shirts out of parts of other t-shirts or just embellish the t-shirts with different things, maybe some patches or um, embroidery, or maybe taking a graphic off one t-shirt and putting it over a stain on another t-shirt and stitching it on, or I don't know, I have so many ideas but I don't know how any of them are actually going to work. They may be amazing and I may create some things that I absolutely love or it may go horribly wrong. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, this is definitely one of those times where I'm stepping out of my comfort zone and just trying something. But I thought if I'm going to buy a thread, a box, first of all, I looked and the selection that they had at that particular moment, because they do have different types at different times, depending on what they have to make the boxes up. So, um, there weren't a lot of choices that really were exciting to me. You know, some of the designer, the designer ones, the luxury ones are, are more expensive. They're usually $140, $120, you know, they're, they're more expensive. There was a coach purse bag, a designer purse bag and they uh, are box and they were all, you know, more than a hundred dollars. And I wanted to start small. So I found the DIY t-shirt box and it said that it would be made up of graphic and I think it said, and it may have been, and, or, I don't know, um, plain t-shirts. So, and it was only $30. So even with shipping, it came out to $40. And then this whole bag, it's pretty hefty. I mean, not bag, this whole box is full of t-shirts. So I figured, why not? Why not find some shirts to play around with? I'm really hoping that there are some shirts in here that are really cool and have some cool graphic designs. I put on my Mana t-shirt because I thought this is kind of a cool graphic design t-shirt or, you know, cool t-shirt. So I'm like, maybe this will manifest. Come on, little Mana team, manifest. Manifest good stuff for me. I got this um, in the mail. It got delivered and I, it is killing me not to look inside, but I have not opened it. I want to so bad. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm thinking that I will probably start doing some more of these boxes. Um, I would love at some point to try a luxury one, but I really need to kind of save up my money to purchase those because they are a little bit more expensive. A lot of people do get them and resell portions of them and actually make money on the boxes. That would be the dream, but I've also seen where people barely make their money back or don't. So it's a risk. It could be great or, or not so much. Um, so I don't know, but I would like to try some of the different ones as time goes by, especially maybe augmenting things that I'm getting thrifting for my, um, resale shops. And also, you know, part of the thing, and I'll, let me show you what it says. You can, you're not going to be able to read it because it's going to be back backwards, but it says on the other side, thrift to fight fashion waste. And I'm just getting more and more into that idea of, um, finding the treasures in the thrift store and rescuing things 
before they can get to the landfill. And a lot of the clothing probably that are in these DIY boxes are things that might end up in the landfill, you know, if someone didn't buy this box and do something with it. So I love the idea of that. Um, so anyway, if you have not subscribed, please do. If you enjoy my content, I would love to have you as a subscriber. We have such a nice group of people on this channel. It's, it's just really lovely. And um, if you'd like to know when my videos are going to be released, you can hit the notification bell. If you enjoy the video, please leave me a thumbs up. It really does help a lot to get my video seen by more people. And um, as always, please leave me some comments. If you see anything in these t-shirts and you have some great ideas of what to do with them, please throw them in the comments. Let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts. So it says right on here, DIY t-shirts. I've opened up the side. I haven't opened the front yet. I'm going to cut open the front now and I'm going to open it up and kind of show you what's inside before I even look. Ugh, stuck on the corner. Hold on. A lot of tape on the corner here. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Open. Oh, wait. There is the little invoice. Let's get that out of the way. There is. Okay. It says there's a little tag. And it says 100% thrifted. And they always come with this um, polka dotted tissue paper. Okay, so let's, I'm going to open it. I'm not going to look, but I want to open it so you I get the tissue. I feel soft though. All right, here we go. I'm going to let you see. Anything good? <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. We're just going to pull them out and take a look. Okay, already. And oh, I should also add that these could be any size. So already, I think this is adorable. This is a small gap t-shirt with little hearts all over it. I'm, you know, it's white, but I'm not, I'm not seeing any stains. Look how cute that is. A little v-neck with the hearts. I, okay, we're starting off okay. I'm going to put that on my I feel like that, I'll, I'll check it more, but I feel like I can put that right onto my Depop. Okay. Oh, this is cute too. Look at this. This is so soft. It almost feels a little bit like kind of like a jersey material. All right, let's see what size we have. Um, this is from Green Envelope, Los Angeles. It's a size small, made in the USA. It's always nice when things are made in the USA. So maybe this is a little bit of a vintage piece. Yeah, it does have an old style paper tag. So this is a little bit of a, a of a vintage piece. I'm not I'm not mad at this so far. Um, this is really cute. It's got. Can you see the little drawstring at the bottom? They're gray and white stripes. Maybe a little a little uh, 90s Y2K going on here. Um, I'm not seeing stains on this one either. Okay, so far I'm not unhappy. <laughs> All right, the next one is a pink one. We know that I like pink. This is from Canvas, Bella Canvas. It is a size large. And in on the front, it says Miami Vibes on the front. Oh, I like this. Guys, guys, this was meant to be. Do you see it? Do you see it? It's a flamingo. It's a flamingo. I'm just going to take a minute and ponder the likelihood that the Miami pink t-shirt I mean, it doesn't matter that it's Miami, but that the pink t-shirt with the flamingo on it was in my box. Okay, next. This one is from Romwe, size medium. This is kind of cute. It has got just suns and moons. That's cute. Kind of this pale yellow. Once again, I'm not really seeing... I see a piece of lint and I mean this color is a little faded it's definitely a little worn but maybe this is something that I would want to cut the graphics off of and put them use them in another way but honestly it's not it's not in terrible shape so far everything that I've oh wait I do see there's some wear on the graphics 
I can see. Okay, if you look close, there's some wear on the um, patches here. But still, I think, I don't know. I still think there's something there. Oh my goodness. Okay, these are so cute. I think, am I doing the graphic side? No, they're all mixed together. Okay, this is a size small. It is, once again, canvas, Stella canvas. Um, plain on the back. But then it has this little doggy playing the guitar, and it says, Mom. I don't know if there's some meaning there I'm not getting, but it's cute. It's got a cute little graphic. I like the little puppy dog playing his pink guitar. All right, moving on. There's some cute ones in here. All right, this is also a size small. 100% um, cotton. I don't... There is, okay, it's got a little smiley face, but I don't really see a, um, I don't really see a brand. It is this kind of tie-dye effect. And then it's got flowers and a bee on the front. So, kind of cute. All right, next we have, this one is a, Zoe and Liv is the brand. It is just a little gray tee. Oh, it's got kind of like the rounded bottom. Um, longer in the back. Let's see, what's this? Does it say a size on here? Uh, small. It looked kind of small. But it's avocados. And once again, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. And that's kind of cute. It's high-low. That's what the bottom is, high-low. All right, let's. this one looks like a plain one. This is from... Universal Thread Goods Company. It's a size medium. I love this. I love this textured um, t-shirt material. And it is a v-neck. This might be, I might try this one on and see if it fits me. That's a nice, just a nice solid shirt. But this is also, if it doesn't fit me, this is something that I could play around with. I was really thinking I was going to get t-shirts that had, you know, big issues. And I'll have to look these over a little more carefully. But I really thought they were going to have big issues and I was going to have to really do something to them to make them usable. This? I don't even know. There's something. Is it a graphic on the back? Okay. No, this has a tag on it. Lucky Brand Los Angeles. This is Credence Clearwater Revival. By Lucky Brand, extra small. And it says, Have you ever seen the rain? Which is a CCR song. And then on the back, it has, you know, more concert stuff. It says, Credence Clearwater Revival, price at the door $550. Can you imagine a concert? $550. Um, Memorial Coliseum. And it's like a ticket. Oh, that's cute. And it's Lucky Brand with the tag still on. Very distressed. You know, definitely made to look like it is an old concert shirt that's been very well worn with the letters distressed. Wow, new with tags. I like that. I'm afraid it might be too small for me, but I kind of want that one for myself. <clears throat> oh, this is a long sleeve tee. Oh, this is nice too. North Face. Oh, it's so soft. You can just tell, like, some of the more expensive brands. The, you know, the, I don't know if it's cotton. I'm assuming it's at least a cotton blend. It's just so soft. Um, this is really pretty green color. It's got the North Face logo on the front. And then on the sleeve, what does it say? It has something here on the sleeve. It says, oh, on the sleeve it says, never stop exploring. If I can get it to straighten out. Look at that. That's a nice one, too. North Face size small. It looks like it's a men's small. And then on the other sleeve, it also says, never stop exploring. Wow. These are nice shirts. I, you know, I was really expecting, because it was a DIY box, I was really expecting that I was going to get a box with things that I needed to fix or do something with. Instead... 
I mean, almost every shirt is something I think I could put on my Depop as is. Oh, let's see. J. Crew, extra small. It is. It says, Per la vita, Amari al limoni. And then, Limonello saluti. Yes, that accent was amazing, wasn't it? <clears throat> Multi talented, that's what I am. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, once again, nice shirt. All right, moving back to this side. Okay. This is just a Gildan. Gil I don't know if that's how you say it, Gildan. Um, just a black t-shirt. It looks like it's a small, yeah, a small. And it just has, um, what does it say? Make a wish. <laughs> you know, all like with the dandelion, you blow on the dandelion and make a wish. And what you're really doing is just making more dandelions. <laughs> but that's okay. That's a cute one too. So far, these have been real. I'm excited about this one. I want this one for me. Okay, so this is Led Zeppelin. The brand is Led Zeppelin. One size. Oh, this has got some holes. This has. This is possibly a vintage Led Zeppelin shirt. It's very big. Led Zeppelin. It does have some holes. It has a hole right here. But if you can see, the brand is Led Zeppelin. So, um, I don't know if this was a tour shirt or a shirt that was, you know. I kind of want to say, because it's printed here, this is probably a remake. Uh, you know, they really gave the rights to make a shirt. And maybe it was sold in Target or something like that. But I do like this one. This one is, like, on the, the collar. It's definitely messed up. But honestly, I will probably keep this one for myself and just wear it around the house. Um, it says uh, VS Tour 1975. I will definitely. Is that a. Oh, I don't know. I will probably keep that one for myself. All right. This might be a plain one. Um, loft. A loft medium black. And this looks more like a, a little bit of a. One of those t-shirts that you might wear under it's sleeveless, but look at the look at the sleeve. It's more like a t-shirt you might wear under, uh, you know, a work, a jacket for work or something. This is very large. This this is a medium. Okay, I guess it's supposed to be oversized because it is very large for a medium. So that's one I definitely might play around with. All right, and there's still. I mean, there's still, okay, I'm down to two in one pile, but man, there's a lot. This is a lot of shirts. Um, this is Under Armour Large Heat Gear, and it says pay your dues with the Under Armour lo logo there. So that's not a bad little t-shirt. It also looks a little oversized. No, it says it's a large. Okay, is this a, maybe this is, I don't know. I was thinking maybe it was an oversized medium, but now it's just a, I don't know, small or large, I guess. All right, what is this one? Let's see. Next we have, this is once again, just Gildan. So uh, if that's what the brand, that's how you say it. Um, it's just some sunflowers and butterflies, and it says brave and free. Okay, last one on this side. This one, the tag was cut out, so I don't know what the brand... Oh, I like this. It's got the uh, stripes on the sleeve, so it kind of looks almost like a sports shirt. But, and it's a v-neck. It's almost kind of like a jersey a little bit, and it just says love and then love backwards. Ah, I like that one. That one's very cute. Very nice. Man, this has been a lot of really nice shirts. And to be perfectly honest, I don't, let me see what it was. I'm going to look and see what it actually was with the shipping and everything. All right. 
it doesn't say it, the box was $28 and I think the shipping was around 10. So less than $40. Um, this is a lot of shirts. I'll have to count them up and figure out, you know, what the price per shirt was. But I mean, I honestly think I might be able to put a lot of these, if not most of them on my Depop site and, and sell them and eventually maybe make my money back. And honestly, I was just buying this as a project box. Um, okay. This says, I think that's a Santorini. No, Santor, no, Santorini, yes. With this really nice little, um, kind of like a little uh, scene, village scene, um, street scene. Very pretty. It looks very, very restful and vacation-y, doesn't it? And then the letters down here are kind of glittery. That's cute. Okay, let's see what the next one is. The next one is Sonoma and it just says Sunday with the sun. This one is a large, this one looks pretty good. Let's see what this, this one before it, the gap one was a, large as well. Okay, and this one just says Sunday with the sun. Nothing particularly special about that one, but not a bad t-shirt, I like the color. All right, here is another one, tie-dyed again. It is from the brand Coca-Cola, so it is a licensed shirt and it is a medium. And it does look like this is cropped. Um, Not sure if it was bought this way or someone cropped it themselves, but you can see it is a cropped hem there. I like the colors though, the tie-dye and um, it's kind of this like purple tie-dye. And then it's got the kind of pastel colors with the Coca-Cola bottle. That's cute. That is cute. All right, this one might be a plain colored one too. All right, this is Airy, A-E-R-I-E, -E, an extra large. Um, and it, it, this is the brand, Airy. I think that's what that is. But it is just a, I like this one too. I like this color. Um, this one does maybe have a little bit of discoloration and there's a little roughness around the, uh, the neckline. You can see where it's a little, little holes around the neckline. But then again, with a shirt like this, it's all, sometimes it's really hard to tell if it's distressed, you know, if it came distressed or if that's from where, but it's a nice big size. This might be one I just keep for myself to wear around the house. It's very soft and it just looks big and comfy. So I may just be keeping a few of these for myself. Okay, this is not what I would consider a t-shirt. This is J. Jill, which is a great brand. It is a small J. Jill. The tag is still on it and the tag says $79. This is not what I would consider a t-shirt at all. This is kind of a uh, yellow with this embroidery. You see the embroidery. Um, it's, I mean, I guess the back material feels a little um, t-shirty, but that's new with tags. Got slits on the side. I will definitely be able to list this one. And I know that J. Jill is a brand that does do well, you know, resale wise. It's good quality brand. So that's that's a bonus. I'm very curious to see what this is actually made out of. Let's see. I am so blind, but let's see if I can read it. Um, it's the washing instructions. Let's see. This is 60% cotton. 45, 40% Tencel Modal, M-O-D-A-L. I've come across that before. And it's, I guess it's an alternative to cotton, but feels a lot like cotton. Um, so good quality materials. Nice. Okay, this is a ribbed shirt. This is also new with tags. Um, let's see, what is this one? This is from A New Day is the brand. It is a large. It is kind of a ribbed cotton. It's just a ribbed cotton t-shirt. 
It also is new with tags. Looks like it was originally $15 and then marked down on clearance to $7.50. Very stretchy. Very interesting. I was expecting not, I wasn't expecting this box to be a box I would get, you know, inventory for my Depop and Poshmark stores. I was expecting this to be something that I would be tearing up shirts and cutting them up to make new shirts out of. And honestly, so far, that really isn't the case. All right, we are down to the last two shirts. This is, it's a Peanuts shirt, so it was, the brand is UT, but it is licensed by Peanuts as well. Let me show you there. You see the Peanuts, and this is a Snoopy. Let's see, it's got Snoopy with Woodstock. It says Peanuts and Unagaba. Yunag and I guess that's kind of, maybe that's what the brand is, Unagaba. It is up there in the title. So I guess this is a collaboration. Peanuts and this other brand. Look, Snoopy is carrying, this is cute. Snoopy with his little bowl on his head. My dog Pippi would carry his bowl around on his head if he could find a way to do it. And just beg you to put food in it constantly. All right, last. This is a Talbot's. This is a good brand too. Talbot's size large. And this is very pretty. Look at this. It's this pink striped. It's got a crew neck on the back. It's got, you know, some pleating. It's kind of odd on a t-shirt, but nice. Um, and the, the colors are beautiful. Colors on this one are very pretty. And it looks, it's a large, but honestly, it almost feels a little bit like an extra large. I don't know. All right, so that's the last one. So, box is empty. <laughs> Hopefully I can make these all fit back in here. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? I really think this was well worth what I paid for it. I was honestly, like I said, I was expecting this to be a project box. And instead, what I got was inventory for my store. I mean, let's go through. I'll go through them really quick and say... I will definitely, this is a Talbert's very nice shirt. I'm going to look them over more carefully and make sure that I don't see any stains or anything. But starting off, I would say I will list this one. I mean, I'm not expecting to get a lot of money off of these, but I would probably list that at maybe $12 or $15 and then hope that I could get, I don't know, $8 or $10. But honestly, if I paid $40, if I, even if I only sold t-shirts for $5, which is very cheap, I would still only need to sell, what, eight of them. Let's see how many there are. So we've got one, two. I'm just going to throw it back in like this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, let's see, 21, 22, 23, 24, so 25. So 25 shirts for $40, that's less than $2 a shirt, and that includes the shipping. So less than $2 a shirt, and most of these are very cute. Like I said, the Flamingo one, I'm going to keep for myself. Um, I might keep a couple of other ones, but I should absolutely be able to make my money back on this box, which was, I have no idea what that noise is. Somebody is doing something outside. Anyway, I, was not, I wasn't expecting this to be a box of things I could listen and get my money back. I was expecting this to be a box of projects. But I'm not unhappy. And the chances of getting a shirt that is hot pink with the flamingos on it. I mean, just what are the chances? What are the chances? It's amazing. Anyway, this was a really pleasant surprise. 
I think I am planning on going to the bins soon. And I think maybe the bins will be a place where I will find some t-shirts that have some issues and I will be able to practice what I want to do and kind of come up with ideas of what I want to do with t-shirts um, and get some from there. Because I do know when I, if I, when I go to the bins, if I find t-shirts that have really cool graphics or colors or patterns and same thing with just fabric you know if I find a shirt and it's got a hole in it but it's really great fabric and most of the fabric is nice I will probably at the bins where they just you just pay by the pound I will probably pick some of that stuff up and use those pieces to make other things out of or at least try to and you know what if I utterly fail at least I will have tried and I will bring you guys along on my journey. I will try to do some videos of me trying to create things. But as far as the thread up box goes, I would say my first experience, this is, he's so cute. My first experience with a thread up box has been very positive. Definitely makes me want to invest in some more along the way. Um, I'll probably wait a little while and, you know, trying to build up a little a little bit of money um, with the resale and then I can use that to buy some more boxes um, but yeah this is a, what a great experience this was I hope you guys enjoyed going through the t-shirts with me and seeing what they were it's it's like a big um, you know grab bag where you don't know what's inside it which I just think is so much fun anyway let me know in the comments um, what, what was your favorite t-shirt were there any in here that you really loved? Any that you just thought, nah, don't even bother? <laughs> also, um, what other kind of boxes would you be interested in seeing? Were, was this interesting to you? Did you enjoy this? Did you enjoy this? Is this something that you would like to see more videos, this type of thing? Um, let me know. Let me know. Because, you know, I do want to make videos that I enjoy making. But I also want to make videos that you will enjoy watching. So, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. And remember, it is never too late to try new things. To, you know, take a risk. And I'm definitely doing that right now. I'm kind of following my passion. And my passion is reselling clothes. And, you know, it's not even... Like, I don't even care. If someone... If I listed this t-shirt and someone bought it for $3 and I hardly made anything on it, but... They thought it was the cutest thing ever and loved it to death. That would make me happy. I mean, it's kind of a twofold thing for me. I, I do, you know, want to make some money to sustain my channel and being able to do the things that I'm enjoying doing so much. Um, and bring you guys even better videos, more fun things. But secondly, and maybe even more importantly to me, is I just love getting cool clothes to cool people that will really enjoy them and keeping them out of the landfill. And that is such a huge problem. I'm finding more and more just how much, how, how much goes to the landfill. And I mean, certainly I am a person who has always loved to shop and shopped and I've never, you could never call me a min minimalist. That is for sure. I've always tried to donate but I think I never thought beyond, oh, I've donated. I never thought to the point where I've donated this, well, if nobody buys it, where does it go then? I never really thought that far. And now I've kind of gotten to the point where I'm seeing that, you know, for a lot of clothes, nice clothes, good clothes, perfectly good clothes. I'm not talking about things that are stained and broken. I'm talking about perfectly good things end up in a landfill somewhere and... You know, maybe if someone else had seen it, they would have wanted it. So if I can take things from my area and make them available to people in many different areas that maybe don't find the thing I find, and then I just think it's amazing. I'm One, I'm making someone happy with a piece of clothing. Two, I'm sustaining doing something I love. But three, and the most important, is I'm keeping that piece of clothing in rotation and not in a landfill somewhere. So, I don't know. I do feel very passionately about it. I'm very excited about it. And every time I sell something to someone and they leave a comment or they send me an offer and talk, tell me how much they love it and how excited they are that they found it, it just makes me happy. It makes me so happy to know that I found something and got it to someone 
who's super excited about it. It's kind of like me with my, my pink blazer that I love. If you've watched one of my thrifting videos, I got it. And I have it in a styling video as well. I found this pink blazer in the thrift store. And I was lucky enough that I found it in my thrift store. But if I hadn't, and I found it on, you know, Depop or Poshmark or ThreadUp or wherever, and I was able to buy it, I would have been so happy, you know? Because um, I found this dream wardrobe piece so anyway I know I sound probably sound a little a little overly passionate about this but yeah I am <laughs> so anyway part of my journey coming forward is going to be the resale business and upcycling because even those clothes that have some wear and maybe aren't perfect I still think there's something in so many of them and they can be made into something that someone else would love or that I might love to wear so yeah, I am excited about it. I'm excited about what's coming in the new year. I'm excited about stepping out of my comfort zone even more and trying to create things. And I knew I'm accepting of the fact that I may create some really ugly things and fail for a while before I succeed, but that's okay. It's all part of the journey. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll make something beautiful first up. Maybe I'll make something beautiful and then the next five things will be girl. Who knows? I don't know. It's a journey and I'm excited to take that journey and I hope you're excited to come along with me. I'm going to be shared with you as much as I can. All right. I'm going to stop talking now. My throat's getting a little dry. I'm going to go. I will probably, I'm, I'm filming this, um, on a Friday and I will probably release it in the middle of next week because my husband is taking me on a nice little trip. Um, we are going to be going on a little kind of long weekend together. Um, I may or may not be filming some videos. I'm not sure. Um, we're kind of doing something I've always wanted to do. And, you know, as much as I love making videos, I also really want to be present in the moments with my family so that's why i'm not sure there may be opportunity and i might film some things real quick little shorts or something like that but it might also be a situation where i just want to spend the time with my husband and and just kind of be off grid for our weekend so i don't know i don't know but i will be releasing this video i want to have it all edited and ready to go um i'm going to edit this one a little bit um i think because i kind of made a few little <laughs> stops and starts when I didn't mean to um in the beginning so I'm gonna get this all edited and ready to go so I will release it to you but anyway remember it's never too late it's never too late to try something new to find what you're passionate about to you know trust yourself and your instincts and also it's it's, it's never too late to you know be nice to yourself you know accept yourself for a human being that may try things and it might not work the first time and you might have to learn a little bit more, practice a little more before it becomes what you want it to be. It's never too late to do that either. It's never too late to give yourself the same grace and the same, you know, permission to keep trying and fail along the way as you would to someone else. So with that, I'm going to go and I will definitely see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.